Hello everybody, today I want to show you how to make your own code for Minecraft so I can edit Minecraft source code pretty much and be able to make your own mod. And in a follow-up video I'll show you also how you can export your mod as a jar file so that you can eventually like share with other people or if you want to be able to take it in and out of your uh, of your game mod folder then you could also do that. But anyway, let's get right into the tutorial. So first of all what you need to do is be sure that you have uh, Java installed because if you don't have Java installed, obviously this is not going to work because Minecraft is a game that runs on the Java programming language. Another thing is I'm going to be using IntelliJ IDEA. Uh, I think it's a very nice editor. You could also use Eclipse. I heard Eclipse works very well. Maybe even Visual Studio Code. My personal preference is IntelliJ IDEA. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is search up Fabric Example Mod. Okay, so fabric example mod it should be the first thing that pops up here it's a github page fabric example mod okay so the next thing you want to do is go to code and you want to do download zip um, you could do you could go about this other ways I just prefer to have it downloaded as a nice zip file oh yeah one more thing I am doing this on a Mac some steps might be different for PC but in general this may all work. So if any part of this doesn't work on a PC, just make sure to let me know down in the comments section and I'll tell you what to do if you don't know what to do or or if you do know what to do then just maybe even share it out with other people so that other people will be able to see what to do. Alright so anyway what you want to do is I'm just gonna be plopping everything into my desktop uh, just so that it's easier for you all to see what's going on here okay so I'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, so now I have it on my desktop, so now I'm going to double click it and it should make a folder that says this, Fabric Example Mod Master. Alright, so the next thing I recommend you to do is to rename it to whatever you're going to be naming your mod. So I was just starting with Fabric so that everybody knows it's a Fabric mod. Fabric and then dash whatever you want it to be. So let's say Amplitude X. That's my name. So. That's what I'm going to be naming it. Alright, so one more thing before we actually get into kind of unzipping all the stuff here. I'm going to be making a folder so that I can plop all my mods into them. Um, in case you're sort of a big modder and you want to make multiple mods, then this might be useful so that they all are in sort of a, a folder that you want them all to be in. So I'm just going to name it my mods. Um, that's just going to be, yeah. Now I'm going to plop that into there. And you should see now we should have my fabric amplitude X in here. So this is my mod folder. All right, guys, I'm sorry. One more thing you're going to need to do is go to Google or whatever your favorite search engine is and go search up fabric latest versions. So just fabric latest versions and uh, the first one that's at fabricmc.net. And this is where you want to pick your stuff for. So we're going to be going into our Gradle properties and making sure all of this stuff is up to date because sometimes the Fabric Example Mod people um, may not update their properties, uh, the Gradle properties and stuff. So you just want to make sure that it's all updated. So you want to go to the latest Minecraft version, which is 1.16.5, or technically any version that Fabric supports. So uh, the, whatever one you want to be modding in. Next, you want to go to here and copy these three lines. So this is Minecraft versions, uh, yarn mappings, and loader version. Okay, so once you copy that, you want to move over to over here where we have our folder, which is our mod folder. Now you want to go into gradle.properties and open it with your favorite text editor. All right, so I'm on a Mac and I'm going to be using text edit. Uh, if you're on Windows, you can use Notepad++ or something similar to that. Uh, just nothing that takes too long and anyway what you want to do is go to fabric properties and paste whatever you pay uh, whatever you copied from the website that I just told you to go to and paste that up there just move this over maybe so that so that nobody's OCD gets triggered but anyway um, next one you want to do that's the next way I want to do is go over here and in the same spot which is where we work great lot properties you want to do this and this is going to be in our dependencies all right so our dependencies here so you just want to replace that with that just to make sure see it changed a bit so it was 
0 0.32.5 plus 1.16 and now when I paste it in it's 0 0.32.0 plus 1.16 so this does change it a bit just so that it's a bit more up to date I'm not sure exactly how much this matters I'm not a, some sort of genius expert on this but yeah anyway one more thing um, up here this is gonna regulate how much memory is used to kind of build your file so right now I had it set to one gigabyte I'm gonna leave it there just um, I could make it up to as much as I want pretty much I'm just gonna leave it at one gigabyte so it's the same as most of you would probably use. And anyway, let's get on to the next step. All right guys, so now you wanna go to the mod properties and this is gonna be specific to your mod that you're gonna be making. So depending on your version, uh, if this is your first time making this mod, then uh, I'd suggest keeping it at 1.0.0. And if it's um, some other time, so like minor updates would go here. So like 1.0.1 or 0.2, major updates would go here and I don't know like yeah whatever so anyway next is your maven group and you want to do something that's specific to your mod so what I suggest is com dot your gmail um, com dot gmail dot and then your gmail name so so that's my gmail name um, if I ever get famous or something I'll probably kind of turn off notifications there uh, if y'all are going to be spamming me there but um, no problem sharing that and then dot your mod name so I actually changed it to amplitude mod uh, I mean changed it to fabric dash amplitude mod so just that's different from my my username so amplitude mod um, actually fabric dash amplitude mod just just so that it's like recognize that it's fabric just that it's recognized that it's fabric okay now so if you don't have a gmail i guess use like uh come by yahoo dot whatever your email is or something like that all right guys so i'm pretty sure we did everything we need to do here uh next i guess just save it just so that it's saved so i just did command s you could also go to file save um but anyway next we want to go back to our mod folder Okay, so this is our mod folder. Remember, I renamed it to Fabric Amplitude Mod. So we're in here. And, um, okay guys, sorry, I meant to say that you want to open up IntelliJ. Okay guys, so I'm here in IntelliJ. I just have some projects here that I've been working on recently. So, like a Spanish project, whatever. So anyway, now you want to go to Open or Import. Now, um, if you're on Windows, you just want to go to your, um, whatever you need to do until you get to your desktop and then you want to go to our mods so it's my my mods and this mod all right so once you're in here you want to click build.gradle and you want to click open and then open as a project okay guys so we're here and you'll know it's finished opening when this turned into a check mark right here all right guys so now you can see there actually is a check mark there and it says build successful in the amount of time that it took. So for me, it took five and a half minutes. Um, it might take longer for you, depending on your system. But anyway, now you have access to this. So inside your source folder, you click. Um, so this is your sort of main modding folder. Now you go into source, you go into main. And in here you get two folders. You have your Java and you have your resources. So your Java is where you write your code, your Java code. Um, and in your resources is pretty much where you have all your, kind of like your textures, your JSON files, everything like that sort of stuff that isn't exactly code. And in here is when you're gonna, where you're going to be making your mod. So now you want to rename all of this stuff, so I recommend just to delete everything starting from inside of your Java. Okay, so you have this now, delete that, um, delete everything inside of there. Now you want to make a new folder, or package technically, so package, so you right click on that, you do new, and package, and I'm going to call it com and then a new package inside of that. Com dot gmail. I think you can actually do dot stuff here. Com dot gmail dot 
uh, whatever your name is and then dot whatever your name of your mod is and now now in here you want to make a new Java class and you want to name uh, whatever your mod name is so amplitude mod and this is sort of the kind of convention so instead of putting spaces in between stuff you just uh, remove the space and make the first letter of each thing capital here all right so now it made the the Java file and now you want to go into resources you want to go into your fabric.mod.json and you want to change first of all your mod ID so your mod ID is sort of like what everybody's gonna be um, sort of a unique ID for your mod so that um, fabric doesn't get confused when there's like a bunch of different mods called mod ID so we're gonna name it just something nice and short so that would work very nice now I want to go to authors and type your name all right guys so I'm just gonna um, run through all the stuff that you may have to change so obviously the mod ID version you can change if you want the name just uh, change it to the name of your mod uh, description obviously description authors um, here we don't have anything uh, yet we don't have a website or anything uh, for sources if you want to put a github eventually there then that's what you would put there uh, the license I'm using Creative Commons license because I don't mind it being uh, anything like that but you can change it if you want um, icon so an icon is inside here inside our assets and we have to rename uh, this folder here because at first it was called mod ID so we renamed it to our ID here that we use that so make sure to remember that ID and then this icon is pretty much just this for now but you can change it to anything basically that represents your mod so next um, entry point main uh, you change this to what is the path that you need to get to here through Java okay so uh, anything in front of Java so we have com dot gmail dot amplitude xyt dot amplitude mod dot amplitude mod which is our file so this is our main class next mix-ins just delete anything that's in here for now because uh, we don't have any mix-ins in here yet and yeah so this is pretty much all we have to do here now if we go into all of these folders here right and then you go into this uh, this is what you would get you actually wouldn't have any of this all right so I'm just gonna delete that just to show you um, because for some reason my recording software decided not to record when I wanted it to but anyway um, this is gonna be what it would look like when it just starts out so you want to do implements mod initializer okay and then just do tab and it will implement that and it would import the necessary uh, package they need to import so now inside of these braces what you want to do is because we want to since we're implementing this we have to implement the methods as well so at override okay so after the at override we have to implement the method so public void on initialize like that and then you open it up like that and this is pretty much where we're gonna be putting the code and in here I just recommend you to put something that uh, is telling you that it's gonna be running okay guys so that's pretty much all you need to do with the files um, at least for now because I'm going to show you how to make a mod eventually, probably, but not in this video. Alright guys, so the next thing you want to do is build this whole thing. So, you got to go to a terminal here, and um, just ignore everything that's already here. I'm just going to clear that. So, what you want to do is, this is where it splits for a Mac and for a PC, but only slightly. So, for a PC, you want to do Gradle build, and that would build the file. For Mac, you want to do dot slash Gradle build, and I want a Mac, so that's what I'm doing here. And now you just wait for this whole thing to build, and pretty much once it's built, we can run this whole thing, and now you can see it built successfully. 
Alright guys, so now since the build finished, uh, we can go ahead and run the game. So up here you should see a little thing here. If you don't have anything there, just says add configurations, you want to click on that. And then you want to, um, it would look something like this. Go to applications and choose your Minecraft client and then click OK. So now um, you could also run a Minecraft server if you want. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a client right now. And whenever you want to run it, you just click this green play button here. And it should start kind of making a client for you or a server if you're using server. Okay guys, and this should be it. So this is now your Minecraft client. And you can do whatever you want here. And you can create a world. Uh, if you're making a server, you could host a server as well. Um, and pretty much, you're free to just make yourself a world and test out your mod. And then once you're done, then you would compile the mod and export it as a jar. So you can see now it says process finish of X code zero. That pretty much means we just close the window. And yeah, so that's pretty much all you need to get started. Um, I might eventually tell you how you can actually make stuff in here and then after that how you can compile your mod. Because of course, you probably want to export it to somebody so that your friends could use it. You can take it out of your mods folder whenever you want or in. And yeah, so I think this is probably the best way to edit uh, Minecraft source code. So yeah. Okay guys, so now I want to address some questions they might have. So first of all, if this doesn't work, obviously leave a comment, okay? So um, that's probably the best way to go around it. Hope um, for somebody to notice your comment and then answer. And I will try to get back to you as soon as possible as well. Now another thing you might be asking is, what about MCP? Well, so MCP is pretty much... It's called Mod Coder Pack, um, that's what it is pretty much, but the thing with that is that you're actually editing the client itself, you're not making a separate sort of thing, so um, it's not as easily exportable, and that's why I prefer to use Fabric. Also, this uh, method that I'm using is relatively user-friendly, uh, I mean, obviously, if you know how to program, but otherwise, it's pretty user-friendly. And yeah, so any other questions, and please feel free to leave them in the comments. I will be glad to answer every single one of them. But yeah, and I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. So I really hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.